to Emo. Greetings viewers, me and team here, and welcome to a Let's Cheese slash Let's Play of Final Fantasy Tactics. I decided to give the first few episodes of this, or at least the first episode of this, a look uh, before continuing on to the Isladia campaign, getting a little bit of a mix-up between games that I'm showing on my channel, the aforementioned channel balance. I'm running this on a PlayStation emulator because I don't have a capture card. Uh, hopefully the quality is not too unacceptable. And hopefully I remember how to play the game a little bit. Uh, some of what I was planning with uh, Super Cheese Ramza is probably going to be a little bit weaker now that I don't remember some things. But it's okay. I'll, uh, I'll FAQ it before I get to the relevant portions of the game, I suppose. Some of this is my own ideas, too, so hopefully it doesn't go too terribly. Let's begin! Alright, well, one of the other benefits of being on an emulator is that you can fast forward through things like this. Um, I don't know. I, I don't anticipate too much difficulty with you guys reading the text shown here, aside from perhaps picture quality. But when it comes to the amount of time, man, they give you more time than you need. You know, we're above a, a low grade level here with the text. Yeah, this is on uh, fast forward. At least I think it is. Yeah, okay. Unfortunately, I don't have a uh, fast forward that goes past like 1.5 or something. I don't think my machine could handle it anyway, because this is a little bit more burdensome than the SNES stuff was. Anyway, this game's a favorite of many. Uh, for those of you who are not generally Final Fantasy fans, this one's going to be a little bit different. Uh, Final Fantasy Tactics and the Tactics Advanced Series, which I haven't gotten to yet, they run more like your tactics ogre or you know grid-based strategy, uh, turn-based strategy than a traditional Final Fantasy where you play through and you know get into random encounters as such. Here's a young man. He is the youngest son of the noble Beowulf, pillars of knighthood. Yeah, knights were such great people historically. <laughs> uh, game actually touches on that a little bit though, surprisingly enough. So there you have it. No, I'm still kind of debating format too. If I want to go like one battle per day as an upload, or if, you know, I want to go time segments like I've been doing in my other videos, I'll I'll play it by ear. I'll play it by ear. But you know, basically, this entire game is sort of a flashback, except for you can forget that. I don't know. I don't know that I uh, agree with the opening the way it is. Because, uh, you know, the, the church is claiming that Ramzo was a blasphemer and anarchist, root of all evil, whatever. That's fine. But you're, uh, you're, you're basically playing through the story, so why does it do this at the start? I don't know. It's, there are worse ways to go about storytelling, but whatever. Uh, at least it doesn't spoil everything that happens, which is good. This game can still, uh, it, it still works with its story fairly well, so... I'll try not to spoil it for those of you who have not seen the game slash story, and, uh, <laughs> should we call him Ramza? Should we? Should we? Oh man, I'm, I'm gonna put him up into god mode. I don't know if Ramza is appropriate. I don't think so. Let's see. Oh, oh, no, no, no. That is not okay. How do I delete? Oh, maybe this button that says delete. <laughs> I hope I'm pronouncing. I hope I'm spelling this right. I said. Okay. Please fit. Please fit. That he never thought he'd be uh, in this kind of game. But here you go. Oh, it does fit! Is that right, though? I'll be right back, viewers. I'm going to check, because I need to make sure. Alright, we're back. And that's how you spell his name. Best cornerback in the NFL ever. And totally fits the role of an awesome knight that is going to run roughshod over the entire world here. 
Good stuff. One of many uh, people's favorite players, just by sheer force of his name. But hey, hey, we're gonna give him the same birthday I have though, because I, I don't know Ibodi's birthday offhand, and when I looked up the spelling of his name, I didn't check his birthday. Sorry, Ashton. But you're still getting mad props. You're about to destroy everything, so don't worry about it. You're born on August 24th, making you a Virgo like me. <laughs> Should I obnoxiously name everybody else? Yes, yes. Square presents. Oops, I hit start. Oh well. We don't really need that kind of thing. Because, uh, you know, the graphics from back in the day, it's not like they're terrible, don't get me wrong, but they're not going to knock you off your socks either. Which uh, usually only happens on hard slash wet surfaces. Well, I don't know about wet, but you, know, you, you get the slick surfaces. God, please help save us, sinful children of Ivalis. <laughs> and here we have a key character, Female Knight. I don't know, man. Was there such a thing? Even if there was, it, it, yeah, I guess there was. There was, never mind. You had, like, Joan of Arc or whatever. That's close enough, right? Not really just a knight, but, you know. I'm sure there were some. Somewhere. Possibly. I don't know. Maybe I'm just trying to piss women off. I shouldn't do that. With my chauvinist comments. Sandwich! Haha. <laughs> And now we have a black knight, despite the fact that he's wearing a uh, brown garb for the most part. Oh, there, there we go. Now it's, we got it. We got the name's Agrius. An urgent issue. Yeah, I don't know. I don't like the princess, but we'll get into uh, why that is a little bit later, I think. You better show some respect, man. Agrius will mess you up. Anyway, this is a little intro sequence. Up, oh, up, oh, drama incoming. Yes, Goltana's men. What, Ashton Yubodi? You have a problem too? <laughs> he's going to intercept your ass so hard. <laughs> oh, he's no longer a knight, but in the intro it said he was. He was part of a knight family. But no, he's just a mercenary like uh, this this Gafgarion guy. See, this is uh, this will all be explained quite a bit better as the game goes on, but it just kind of starts here. It's kind of like the Chrono Cross effect where you start a, a good like third of the way into the game or so, and then it zooms you back to the start of the game. They're doing that here too. And alright, we're going to get into the tutorial battle now. And man, like all Final Fantasy games, or I guess all games in general made after the early 90s or so, or early mid 90s, that's when games stopped being hard for the most part. I mean, you have your exceptions like Demon's Souls, but for the most part, games just, they're not that hard. <laughs> Unless you're playing against other people. That's your refuge if you want challenge. If you want to read the text, uh, certainly you can pause it. Uh, I, I don't do good voiceovers. Well, I shouldn't say that. I guess I possibly could do some voiceovers, but others I would just be friggin' terrible. And I don't know that it actually makes the game more enjoyable to watch, so I'm not going to do it. Uh, there are other people out there that do it, so uh, yeah, hit them up if you want to see that. Only idiots attack head on. I don't know about that, Gaff Carrier. I'm so glad I picked that name. That was total spur of the moment, too. I, <laughs> I think I actually thought of something else like a week or two ago when I was thinking I'd finally get this started. And then I <laughs> just forgot while doing the video and decided to name him Yubodi. So, hey, kill them all. There's no need to kill them. What are you, an environmentalist? Jeez. I'll tell you what. No, they have swords. You're not going to hurt the environment. It's okay. Overpopulation isn't an issue, but uh, there is underpopulation. If these guys are trying to kidnap slash kill your princess, then uh, by all means, ruin their day. Okay, 
So, uh, Ashton Booty is a Virgo. You can tell that with a sign next to where the screen says Squire. He is the only person you can control in this battle. It's technically possible to lose this battle, I think, but um, you'd have to both get really unlucky or slash lucky, because I can't see losing it unless you try. But anyway, here are your moves for your basic dude. You have uh, move, act, wait, status, auto battle. Um, for the most part, I recommend against auto battle. And if you just want to wait, like let the game play for you and see the story, I guess. But that's not really the uh, draw of a strategy, a turn-based strategy game, I don't think. So we're going to shy away from auto battle for the most part. Unless, you know, we just want to go to town on somebody that's completely inferior. We could get away with it here, but this is a tutorial battle, so why would I do that? Uh, status, check out what equipment you're running, what abilities you're running. We'll get more into abilities later when we actually have more than one ability. Apparently we only have guts. And then you can see their stats. You got move 5, that's actually pretty good. I'm not sure why he's move 5. Oh, I guess because Squire Default Class has move 4, and then Battle Boots had another one. Normally your movement is 3 by default. Uh, jump is basically how, how far, or hang on, you know, how high you can jump from one tile to the other. So, um, you know, I would have expected Ashen Booty to have a little bit better jumping, but, you know, maybe he needs to hit the gem a little bit more right now. Uh, and then you, you look at your weapon power, right-handed, left-handed, as well as, I guess, a uh, hit percentage multiplier. Then over there you have the AT, which is your attack, uh, you know, so the magic. And then you have all these kinds of evasions that... Uh, if you really want to get into the nitty-gritty of the of those stats, the evasion stats, and damage multipliers, damage calculators, whatever, this probably isn't your let's play, because we're going to be cheesing the hell out of the game with your booty, rather than uh, trying to build up an ultimate team of characters or anything else. So, you know, it's the, the information is definitely there in FAQs if you're interested. Or, uh, you know, the person who inspired me to do this let's play a while back, H.C. Bailey, he gets into this kind of stuff a little bit more in depth as well. As for me, I'm just going to uh, take advantage of my five moves, hit L and R to shift the screen like this. And that is useful because, you know, you need to see where you're going. And I don't know that it really matters if I do. Now, these, are, these guys are so outclassed that I'm just going to want to get this battle with over. Uh, get this battle over with as quickly as possible. And okay, here's your guts ability. This is Squire. Class? Uh, yes, this is a job class Final Fantasy game, uh, even though it's Final Fantasy Tactics. So, um, Wish can heal people at the cost of some your, uh, yeah, there you go. And Select will tell you what that does. Yeah, you, you lose a little bit uh, of your HP and heal more HP to somebody else. Not too useful, but it's there. Accumulate's pretty good, and it's available to all squires. Rams is like a super squire. He can learn things that other squires can't. But for now, this is the only ability he has, and uh, that I consider too worthwhile. It's here, and it's pretty good. I will be using it in this Let's Play uh, to a fair amount. It's also good for grinding if you don't have anything else, so that's good. But it raises your physical attack by plus one, so you will be more effective with that. And depending on your setup, uh, it, it can be fairly devastating, the benefits of running Accumulate. And yeah, Agrias just one-shotted somebody. So, you know, that, that's why you get a feel for <laughs> how this is not supposed to be a hard battle. And unfortunately, I can't control any of these other characters. So, uh, this is... It, it's not quite a scripted battle, but you really can't do a whole lot. It freaking attacks me. Now, the guy who just attacked me, his class is a knight. They equip shields, they equip heavier armor, and your hit points come from armor more in this game than they do from actually, uh, uh, like, leveling up your character. You get some level up per character, but most hit points come from your equipment, which is interesting. So knights are some of the tankiest uh, guys in the game. A lot of people consider them inferior uh, to a lot of the later job classes, but if you set up a knight properly, it's actually a pretty good class. It tanks well. Uh, and they have good physical damage output and gain. If you have the moves on them, they're not too slow. And as a default class, they're not fast, but they're not, like, painful or slow, either. And I'm getting Archer. Arrowed! Yeah, and Gafgarion also has a special. Like, he's a, a Dark Knight, Agrios is a Holy Knight, and it gives him the ability to use these special sword skills like you're seeing right here. <sighs> we will have access to characters with those capabilities later. Um, for now, the only person I can 
uses Ramza, and he only has basic Squire skills, so whatevs. Yeah. Chemists, which is what our knight is attacking right now, our female knight, they are uh, your basic item users in this game. They can uh, apply Phoenix Downs, which resurrect, or potions, which heal. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna pick this guy off now. Attack him from the side. You have more odds of actually hitting somebody if you attack them from the side or especially behind. Behind has the best odds and in the front has the worst odds. You have, uh, there are some abilities you can equip that modify your hit percentage and uh, ignore some of the resistances. But uh, attacking someone in the back, uh, with very, very few exceptions, is going to be a 100% hit. And for guys like this who don't have any equipment that gives them evasion, uh, attacking from the side is pretty good too, so we're just going to beat this guy down. Get owned! And yeah, this battle is almost over already. Maybe I'll do a uh, second battle in this video as well, just because... This is a little bit silly as a starting video. I don't know, we'll see how it works for time. Oh man, that guy laid into our knight. Now you'll notice that we have stars over everyone's head. That's only in this tutorial battle and a few other cases. For the most part, um, if somebody dies, you have three turns to resurrect them or finish the battle. Either will do. And if you don't, uh, they're gone forever. They will drop a treasure chest or... Yeah, or a crystal, one or the other, and uh, I'll get into more of what those do later. But uh, yeah, basically once that happens, they are gone forever. If that happens to Ash and Yubuti, we lose the game instantly, of course. Well, we can save the game, but aside from that, <laughs> I mean, it's all you can't just reload, but yeah, you will get a game over that way, so that is that. But not in the tutorial battle, because, you know, I don't, I don't know, I think Ramza also just gets stars over his head, so. I think if you uh, have everyone knocked out, you still lose, though. But, you know, as you can see, it's almost impossible, because Gafgarion heals himself every time he attacks. And, uh, Agrios tears people a new one, so it's going to be really hard to lose that way. Oh, also, the other good thing about those special sword skills is that they uh, really don't miss a whole lot. That guy has access to the chemist job class ability item, so he can heal himself with items. And it's really just going to stall for time. I hate when the AI does that. There's no way. No way he's going to be able to do anything. You know, there's lots of us left who lost. Some sour grapes. Yeah, beat him in the back. One hit point left. Get that potion out of here. Can you have Gary in reach? No, oh, he can. Good. Yeah, every once in a while they'll give their little narration on their attack. You have to call your shots. It's one of those types of games, right? Kamehameha. No, not so much. Well, sort of. Uh, they at least have something they say other than, like, the Hawaiian king's name. But besides that, it is similar. Alright. Yeah. Get dead. Uh, yeah, okay. He's gonna probably heal himself and run away again. It's kind of annoying, but... Yeah, he's, uh... <laughs> he's going to be attacked by multiple people before he gets another move, so... It's fine. And yeah, the computer is smart enough to know to attack people from behind, so... That's useful. And yeah, next person to get their move, that can reach. Guess Gary's a little on the, uh, not high movements <laughs> side things. Yeah, that'll be it. We win the tutorial battle. I'm so good. He's a troll squire skill. The only good thing about dash is that it can knock people off of surfaces. So, like, you can push people off of cliffs or something, but it almost never comes into play, and it's not worth carrying the squire skill for that. Uh-oh. What have we here? Is it a kidnapped princess? It is! <laughs> Come here, be quiet. <laughs> Yeah, that's the way to do things. <laughs> I mean, why would she listen to you? You're kidnapping her. As, as annoying as she is, you know, she has a point. Nice. Nice line. Blame yourself or God. Perfectly spoken to Agrius. I congratulate you, knight. You are a troll. 
And that makes me smile. Ha! On your knees! Yeah, okay. I'll stop for at least a moment. Oh, Delita. <laughs> Why is Delita in Goltana's troops? Because, you know, we totally know who Delita is at this point in the game. <laughs> well, I guess the intro did kind of gloss over that, but... <laughs> You know, why would Delita be doing what he's doing here, based on the intro? That doesn't make sense. And will the game tell us? Well... Eventually. Ah, here we go. Delita's name appears for the first time a year before the Lion War broke out. So, okay. Now we get to see some... Uh, we gotta mention of Delita's name. And apparently this war is following a war that happened before it, which, as far as I'm aware, there's not a game for that. So, I don't know, we're just, we're on the heels of another war, and uh, then a lion war is about to break out, apparently. Anyway, uh, soldiers returned from war, had no jobs, little money, and even less loyalty to the crown. Yeah, I can see why. Then he became thieves and rebels. Plotting rebellion. Oh man, is that like jesters gesturing in Mafia? Man. Oh, I had a good night last night. I should have recorded it. <laughs> I, I pulled Jester. I accused somebody of being Framer, got him lynched, insisted that the guy was framed, and then uh, a jailer jailed me, so I thought I was going to get executed in the jail cell, but I managed to convince the jailer not to do that, and then claimed that I got jailed a second night, and the jailer outed himself to get me lynched. And then, of course, I'm Jester, and so it's just completely screwed over town. I love doing that kind of stuff. And here we are, Chapter 1, The Meager. <laughs> I'm going to actually get out of tutorial battles sooner or later. Maybe I will go for length on Episode 1, especially because I'm going to be editing out my Ash and Booty search for spelling accuracy. And, uh, well, it's not the most exciting of early game things. I heard another wagon bound for Igoros was attacked. I said I wasn't going to do this, didn't I? Anyway, uh, they're talking about Death Corp. Death Corp. Death Corp. <laughs> is that a, uh, is that a limited liability company or is it an actual corporation? You know, what, what chapter are they filing under? The Death Corp. Great. <laughs> English for win. Anyway, something's starting. No, anything Delita? Yeah, okay. So... Now, we're now hearing about the Death Corps, which, once again, we haven't had any mention of prior to now, but this we're in the past now, just for those of you who are confused. Because I certainly was when I started watching the Let's Play of this, and when I played the game, I was like, what, really? <laughs> so, yeah, now we got a prince coming in the town. Not to be confused with the princess that was just kidnapped. I uh, got Larg, uh, Marquise, Elmdor of Limberry, and since this is a, uh, this is a turn-based strategy slash RPG, you know, if they're going to bother dropping names, the characters are probably going to become relevant at some point. And yes, Ivalis is the place where these dudes all live. Uh, Hokuten Knights are what these, what, what we're trying to join here. But Ashton Booty is a cadet to join the mighty Hokuten Knights. Congratulations on that. Yep, we gotta fall in. So we got a bunch of squires and a couple chemists. All right. And in comes a knight. You have a mission! As you know, barbarians are rapidly increasing here in Galleon. Oh, that's a shame. The traitor is Death Corp. <laughs> Detest the royal family. We cannot overlook them. I guess I'll narrow it some. We will begin exterminating these traitors by order of our master. Oh man, we have to kill people. We're the good guys and we have to kill people. You know what this kind of game is already. And you're not beating up on just monsters here. We are taking out rebels. Ha <laughs> ha! Best Final Fantasy game ever, right? Right. So we're supporting the flank. And uh, by flank, I don't mean poking at their pot handles. I mean, we're actually going to be dropping some dudes in the near future here. Up, oh, up. Oh. Somebody came up and dot dot dotted, which means uh, basically that they're saying nothing normally. But in this case, it meant that she said something. Thing, and that it's time to ready your swords and uh, <laughs> attack some tortured thieves, not just any thieves. All right, prepare immediately. 
Yes, I do want to save. We will save in slot two. As I did... Oh, never mind. I will save in slot one. Because that's the only slot I can save in. <sighs> yeah, you, you can see I've done a little bit of experimentation with this game. So, uh... Let's just take the first slot. I mean, it's a level one squire save anyway, so whatever. And all right. Onward and upward. Mostly, uh... Onward, though. And okay, here's the screen where you get to deploy people. We'll get into uh, party management later. But, uh, you know, hit L on R1, which you can see on the screen there. It will switch between uh, you know, who you're putting down. And I haven't really taken a look at my peoples. Baker, Walter, McNeil. You get like a couple uh, female characters, a couple male characters. Um, Brave and Faith, I'll get into later, especially because it's particularly relevant to the strategy that I am going to be pursuing. So, definitely Brave and Faith matter, but, jeez, I don't think it really matters, because, you know, we're, we're running uh, Super Rams out here. So, we're going to throw down a Chemist, and otherwise we're going to throw down some Squires. 50 Brave on a physical class is terrible, so Tess here would probably be better suited as a caster class. Yeah, and okay. Yeah, pressing square, you can see the status. Uh, triangle, you can search. I don't know. That's uh, that's what it is. But yeah, then you just press start when you're ready and you can go. Later in the game, you will be outnumbered sometimes, but for, for now, they're not going to do us that dirty. Uh, it can be a little bit challenging if you don't know what you're doing, though, especially in the early goings, because in the early goings is when you have the least customiza customization available to you and the least broken options available to you. So these first couple missions are going to be the hardest, with the exception of this one, because this is like a secondary tutorial mission, where instead of only controlling one uh, character, we now have full control of our entire army, except for our guest character, which in this case is Delita. And uh, the leader just does whatever the heck he wants, and we're just going to let him do his thing. If he dies, he doesn't get a countdown to turn into a treasure chest or a crystal, so I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> you missed. But uh, you can't control him either, and sometimes the guys' characters can screw you over because they do stupid things. But for the most part, it's they're fine. You can't really grind them. Or would you want to? With guest characters, some of them will join you later, some of them will not. And uh, without knowing that ahead of time, who will join you and who isn't, then uh, you don't want to grind up a character anyway. Ash and you booty, watch out, don't rush them. Well, heck, no kidding, you're a friggin' cornerback. You should probably be covering somebody. <laughs> yeah, don't patronize him, he's a he's a corner. You don't need linebackers telling us how to play the game. And apparently, uh, Yubuti comes from a line that people recognize as snot-nosed nobles. Oh, man. <laughs> Surrender or die in obscurity. This is from our main character viewers. Surrender or die in obscurity. I approve. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's squire on squire. And we have a numerical advantage, if only through a guest character. Now, we were told not to rush in, but you know what? What's the worst that could happen? Actually, what can I do right now? Oh, I only have a wish. See, you also don't have the same abilities, and if you look at the status, I don't have the same equipment I had either, oh, well, other than battle boots. Okay, I have the battle boots. But... I don't think it would be bad to get control of top here, so we're gonna do it. And then, uh, just... What are my odds on this? 90% hit odds? Yeah, why not? Get some experience. Especially for Ramza. Nobody needs experience. <laughs> More than Ramza. <laughs> for what I'm trying to do. <laughs> Basic skill. Yeah, see, he gets Guts, which is his replacement for the Squire ability. Basic skill. And I, I was lucky enough to get through a stone. Unfortunately, I can only hit my own people. I can try to hit the, that person, but this game will do you dirty, and 
Um, it will... <laughs> it will hit Ramza at slash action you booty. So that's not good. Anyway, I'm not going to be applying much strategy in the first battle here because honestly there isn't much to say about it. Bring my chemist along here to heal Ramza because, you know, all kinds of bad things can happen to him because of what I chose to do with him. Just wait there. Yeah, this guy's not going to do a whole lot. And that's useful too, like if you can get into a position where you can gang up on people or attack the same person over and over, and, you know, they have characters that can't attack you at all, that's a big benefit if you can manage it. It also, because I waited, Oh, that's something I should probably talk about right now. Well, I, I'll, I'll do it after I get my next move. Okay. Uh, square out of that. If you hit, um... I'm not sure what it corresponds to on the PlayStation team, but you pull up the AT menu here, you can see the order of movement. And moving and taking an action it uses up more AT than moving and waiting. So if you move and wait and somebody else moves and takes an action and you have the same speed, you will go ahead of them on the AT. And you can also see who's going to do what next. And that's pretty useful in terms of planning out your moves. But uh, again, that will become more relevant later. It's less so now. This guy's at full health. I think I'll just, you know, take a little dip here and beat on the chemist because they uh, they can heal and he won't be able to protect himself from this too effectively. 100% yeah, hit odds. And then I'll face that way so the squire can't beat on me too effectively. And you just support Ramza in case. And one thing about the chemist is that they can apply their items at range, which is useful. Very useful. Alright, Delita. Yeah, they'll walk beside him and attack him. Nice and basic. Kinda wish he would go for the chemist, considering the chemist can just heal the squire or anyone else he wants to heal back. And yeah, my squire is going to get attacked. But we have superior equipment to these guys, uh, we have superior numbers to these guys. There's really no reason we should be losing. Thankfully she didn't dash me into the uh, water there, that would have been very, very painful. And apparently Ramsa can give chase and get an, a KO if he manages to hit, which is reasonably likely, so let's do it. Yeah, 95% odds. Get some. This game will hose you from time to time, don't get me wrong. <laughs> Alright, well now they can attack my chemist, but whatever. Inferior equipment is inferior, they're not going to do anything. Ho ho! Yeah, I'm going to want to heal that guy. Because I'm going to take a lot of beatings from him. Really? I don't mind. That's fine with me, but... The guy probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> okay, act, item. And yeah, chemists can apply potions at range. And this guy could use one, because they're ganging up on him, so here. All that damage undone. And that's why I want to or their chemist as a priority, because their chemist can do that too. Fortunately he didn't, he decided to give me a face full of fist. I don't know man, punch girls. But uh Yeah, that's the route they chose to go. And if I go here, I block this guy from actually pursuing anybody else. So I will do that. Oh my god. I do like no damage. That's fine though, because I can get help there eventually. And yes, <laughs> the love of God, get rid of their healers, get out of here. <laughs> Not a hard fight, it just isn't. Better equipment, better numbers, better everything, you're not going to lose. And yes, even the AI can level up, although it's only relevant in the one battle, unless you lose, but... Even then it's only relevant to one battle, because you can't play anymore after that, so... That is what it is. Um... Here. Get Ramza some more experience in JP. Yeah, you take off 10 hit points to heal 20, so... JP is job points. That'll let you uh, pick abilities that you want to use. And is this an enemy? No, that's somebody I used. 
That's an enemy, but I, don't, I can't reach him really. Whereas if I come over here, I can probably close on either person. Oh, he can jump up there. How about that? It's news to me. Well, as long as he doesn't push me off and kill me. Because I only have one thing down, and I really don't want to use it here. Oh, that's where the other guy was. Oh, man, I lost track of him. Whatever, I have my chemist. If I need it. I probably won't use up any more potions here. Not that they're all that expensive or important, but... It's, uh, still... Well, I could try to dash him off and cause him damage. Yeah, I might as well, because I'm not doing anything otherwise in terms of damage. Yeah, six versus eight, whatever. <laughs> and it ultimately does eight anyway. Well, it looks cooler, and plus, dash stops being useful really quickly, so I might as well show it off while I can. Yeah, here we have two on ones. I'll probably be okay, even if I don't heal. I'll do the chemistry attack. Come on, Delita. Oh, well, kind of hoping he'd go for the injured guy, but... I guess that works. Yeah, kill someone. And yep, we're gonna run away, pointlessly. Can I attack from there? I don't think I can. I'm gonna attack from here. Nicely done. Smack him around a bit. And since you are by far the closest person to this douche, we're gonna cut off his escape. Can't really do anything with these guys. You really want to be able to get, grab experience uh, one way or another on any given turn, but you know, with your starting abilities, you really can't, so you want to get access to those quickly. Oh no, Ramps is weakened. Whatever shall I do? <laughs> well. There's a hit at which, like, one person can attack and the other can't with some weapons. But, uh, I think that's mostly spears. Man, eight pathetic damage and he gets a kill. And yeah, here's somewhere I could auto-battle, but we're so close to the end that, whatever. I'll just take my last squire, run over there, and lay down a beating. Can I wish? I'm curious. <laughs> will it kill me? Yeah, it will. <laughs> and like I said, it doesn't matter because uh, that ends the round anyway. And I wasn't going to get experience regardless of what I did, so that's kind of funny. Ashton <laughs> Ubonis down in the first fight that we actually have full control over. <laughs> Why do you continue to commit athletic robbery? You wouldn't have died this way in obscurity if you led an honest life. If you tell him, Ashton. And you get a victory screen. Congratulations, a winner is you. This battle is complete, and you get money. Yes. And we also get a mithril knife as a war trophy. I don't know about the other knives that the enemies had, but that one knife we get. Well, we don't want to make the game too easy. Okay. I think after a cutscene, I'll be able to stop off the video. Oh no, we get it. We get to here right away. We move. Place the cursor on the map symbol you want, and press the circle button. Yeah, you can press circle again to enter towns and buy things. Stuff we'll be doing in future videos. This is basically telling you how to play, but, you know. And at first, we only really have one route to go. Uh, when you go over to these red locations, that indicates that you are going to get yourself into a fight. Usually. So, uh, that's that. Um, how do I save again? Oh yes, start. So, I'm going to save this here. And I will just overwrite, because, you know. I don't have any uh, key decision slash breaking points just yet in the game. And okay, viewers, uh, hopefully you're enjoying this so far. If you are, give it a like, and I'll see you in the next part. I mean, team signing off.